Hi, I'm Marius from Emmys Photography and in today's video we are going to look at reflectors. Now as you can see the sun is shining really hot and this is not the best time of the day to be taking pictures because the contrast is just so high and the lighting isn't that great. So I'm more a fan of using flashes but what do you do if you don't have flashes? What are you going to do if you're just starting out in photography? So the best way to learn is by using reflectors because you can see exactly what you're doing. Now here I've got um, an older this is just a normal two-sided reflector. You get all different size, sizes of reflectors, different types of reflectors. I'm just going to focus on the normal circle um, shape ones. Here you can see this one has got a, a golden side to it. And I hope I'm not blinding the videographer with, <laughs> with the sunlight into the camera. And here you've got the white surface. So when I'm holding it, oh yeah, I've got two people helping me today. And it's Yamaki and Combo Kitten. And Yamaki is cosplaying Gintama. Yeah. Gintuki. Okay, I'm not going <laughs> to... Too fast. Okay. Right, so you'll notice here that the sun is now in that direction there. And if I'm holding it on um, Yamaki, you'll see I'm basically blinding her there with the extreme bright sunlight. Um, Nanette, can you see that on the video? Yeah. If I'm holding it on her there. Right, so you can see I'm reflecting the light from the sun onto the reflector and that light is then obviously then hitting your model. So if you've got uh, extreme sunlight and it's casting a shadow on the face, you can use reflector to fill the light in again. Now a very important point is this can blind the person you're trying to, um, to shine this on. So what you basically do is you feather it. So while, I'm got it, while I've got it right there, that's too bright, you can see it squinting. But if I move it just slightly away, you can see the light's still there but it's not as bright. Does that look a lot better for you? Yeah. Right, so it's not that bright. So just feather it. If it's too strong, just tilt it slightly. You're going to make the light a little bit softer. Right, now this is a 110 centimeter one. And like I said, this one has only got the gold and then the white. Um, here's also another um, 110. But this is called a 5-in-1. And the nice thing about the 5-in-1, you can see it's exactly the same size. It's also got the golden color. It's also got the white. But why it's a five in one is the very cool part. You open it up like this. So when you open it up, on the inside, you're going to get, thanks, Jen. You're going to get um, a silver. Now, the silver is very specular. So you need to be careful. The light coming from this thing is going to be really bright and you can blind someone with this, trust me. And on this side, you're going to get your black. Now, you might think, why would you want to use a black reflector? Because you're trying to reflect light. Well, sometimes you're trying to um, absorb the light. You don't want a, a specific light to fall on a subject. Then you can just use the black and then it, 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 it absorbs the light. And then, yeah, that says it all. <laughs> right. So then here you've got a trans, I think it's translucent or transparent. And what you do with this is you let the sun sh shine through this one and it's making the light soft. I'll show you how that works. So when you want to change this, you basically unzip this entire thing and you flip these two sides around and you cover it up again. And then you've got your five in one effect. Okay, so this is the 110 centimeter. I find this one very um, nice because it's, it's, a, it's a nice large reflector. But when you fold it up, and if you fold it up a lot of these car windscreen things, then you're sorted, you won't have trouble with this. You'll see it's very small, so you can carry it around in your bag or leave it in your car's boot or something. It's very small. So when it's opened, you'll see there's the 80 centimeter, which is this one. This is a little bit smaller, maybe if you're tiny, maybe you're a, a, a woman or something and you can't hold this entire big thing, you've still got this one and you'll notice also got white, gold and if you open it up, you can see it's also got the black, there's the black, you're transparent and you've also got the silver right there. And if you really want to go smaller than this, now you might be asking yourself, why would you want to go for a smaller reflector? Because you're trying to make your, your light source larger. Now, another tip with, with lighting, the larger the light source, the softer the lighting. So why would you then want to have a 30 centimeter one, which really looks like a little baby toy? <laughs> so with this thing, the purpose of this is maybe you only want to have a little bit of light and it'll, uh, maybe you're doing a still life or something. It's not a large subject, so you just want to hold it in and just get some lighting in there. So this one as well, you've got all the sides. So here's the one that's 
transparent. You can basically have the sun shine right through that. You've got the gold, you've got the white, and you've got the black and the silver. So if I maybe decide I don't want to have the silver or the black, then I just flip it around like this. Genevieve? Okay. And I can just hold it like that and just close it again. I think I got this thing in the wrong way. It starts from the beginning. Right. Just make sure there's a little hole right there. And I've got a little tag thing right here. So I must just put that through there. And then it makes it a lot easier. And I can just close the zip. And then I've got the other two sides again. So the thing is so small, it basically fits straight there back into its little, I don't know where the bag is right now. So you can see that it's so small, you don't even need to fold it, you just put it back in there. Right, so now with, with, with using reflectors, it's really very, very easy. You just reflect the light. So if you've got sunlight, it's very harsh, you just use reflector to reflect it. And that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to take a shot of Gintama, Gintoki. Okay, cool. Um, Genevieve, you can have this one. And we're going to use the golden color one because it's giving a nice um, warm sunlight glow to the subject. And then I'm first going to take one without it. And I'm not going to use my flash. There's a reason I've got the flash on here. Um, I am going to use it soon. But for now, I just want to take a shot without any flash lighting. So, right. Now, no reflector, anything. I just want to take a straight shot. Right, and when you look at the shot, you'll see there's detail on the hair because the sun is shining on her hair, but we are losing the detail on the, on the face. So we need to use a reflector. Now, if you've got the gold reflector and you look on her face, you'll see when we put it there, you can immediately see all the light we're putting in there. So now I'm going to take the exact same shot, Genevieve. Okay, there we go. And Gintama, was that extremely harsh? No. No, just fine. Okay, cool. Right, so when looking at the shot, I can immediately see, I can't even look at the back of my screen, it's that dark. I can see it looks a lot better. I'm just going to take another one to make sure because I can't trust the screen at all. So just hold the reflector there again quickly for me. Right, one, two, three, there you go. Right, so that's just by using the reflector to fill in the shadows on the one side. We could also have used the white if we wanted to, but this does give a nice glow. Then, I think the next one we want to do before we start using flash is I want to have the inside. I want to show you what you can do with the inside. If I open this up, we're coming to this transparent one. And what I like about this is if you've got very harsh um, light and you don't want to um, have, the put, have the light, how can I say? You don't want to fill in the light. You just want to make everything just softer. I can actually have her turn towards the sun like this, and then I can have, whoops, it's starting to get windy. I can have Genevieve hold it there, and now it's the sunlight's coming through and casting soft light on it for me. So now, it's gonna look like that. I'm just gonna take another one. Two, three. Right, so you can make your, your light a lot softer by using a nice large reflector like that. As a, it's the same as shooting with like a softbox. So you've got your flash on the inside and it's shining through this for your large uh, diffuser. It's the same thing. You've just now got the sunlight shining through this thing. Right, now we're going to look at using flash with a reflector. Now obviously this is one light source, but I want to make this light source a little bit larger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the image is going to look like with just straight dead on flash. And then I'm going to use the reflector. Now what we're going to do here, um, Genevieve, you can use... Uh, this one it's already covered with the golden side what we're going to do is I'm first going to take an image and then I'm going to take the image straight straight on flash and then what we're going to do is um, generally the silver side we're going to use the silver side like this ah sorry the gold side <laughs> um, I'm going to tilt my flash head like this and I'm going to tilt it onto this reflector and that light's going to be reflected onto the model. 
Right, so first shot, it's just going to be straight on flash. Right. There we go. Okay, now, Genevieve. Okay, now just, uh, very important when you do this, just make sure that the person's holding the, the uh, um, reflector must look at where your light's coming from because the light needs to travel like this, hit the reflector, and then reflect onto your um, model because if it's slightly not at the right angle then the light's just not going to hit the subject and with the light that's shining on my back of my screen I can't even see if, it, if it's right or not so it's important that the angle is correct all right okay you can do the exact same shot just with the flash reflected okay maybe do another one maybe have it a little bit there all right and when I look at my screen, I can see some of the light did reflect onto her, and it looks very nice. You can see the warm glow from the light that's hitting the reflector. Then there's another thing you can do. So, like I said earlier on, with, with lighting, the larger your light source, the softer and better your lighting. So if I'm just using this, which is a very small light source, and I'm shooting on Gintama, <laughs> right? Then obviously it's a very small light source. It's not giving such a soft um, light because of the size. But if you look at this reflector, this thing is huge. So when the light hits this, this becomes the light source, which is a much larger light source. It's gonna give a softer, more flattering light. And what you can also do is you can have someone, your um, assistant, your voice, voice activated light stand, right? You can have her <laughs> then hold the reflector here behind you. So then I turn the flash head like this, and then I tilt it, say so like that, and then what I do is, you'll notice, um, Nanette, you can just look here if you see this thing flashing. And that looks very nice. So now this becomes my light source. And I'm going to do another one with the white side as well, so we can see what that looks like. Alright, Genevieve, is she right? Mm. Okay, cool. Alright, so there's the one with the white. And then I'm just going to turn the flash off so that we can see what it looks like without the reflector. Right, so that's what reflectors do. As you can see, they're very easy to work with. They can fold away very, they're very small to carry around with you. And they do an awesome job at filling in um, the shadows. I'm also going to show you in the next video how you use your reflector in a studio environment when you've actually got a bracket holding the reflector for you. So that's going to be in the next video. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. And also subscribe to the channel because there's going to be a lot more videos coming in the future. And also visit the, the, um, the sponsor who gives me all these nice toys and stuff to always play around with. And then I'll see you in the next video. Ha, ha, ha.